Greetings, folks. Pastor Tim from the Martinsburg Union Rescue Mission. Update on the 604 project. Man, we are about literally 95% completion on our remodel. We are still 200,000 short of our goal. Folks, um, if we can't open the doors until we reach our financial goal so we have everything covered from the remodel, the furnishing, and the staffing for two years. Uh, I pray that you just uh, ask the Lord to lay on your heart what you could give anywhere from $5 to whatever. Go to martinsburgunionrescuemission.org. Hit the donate button. You can donate today. Put the 604 project. We are that close of completing it, folks. And I'd love to get this uh, facility open no later than November 1st. We are literally that close. I'm going to read something to you out of uh, Isaiah 61. And Jesus quoted this. He said, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. That's out of Isaiah 61. And then when Jesus walked this earth, he spoke the same thing in Luke 4, 18. And it says, as followers of Jesus, we, we are the day in Isaiah 61 because God has called us to a ministry of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians uh, 5.18 talks about that. 2 Corinthians, it says all this, 2 Corinthians 5.18 says this, all this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Um, you know, the neat thing of all this that's happening here is that um, in Isaiah 61, it talks about uh, whether it's sheltering and feeding the homeless, saving the unborn, rescuing a woman trapped in abuse, or training the students here that we have in our discipleship track program. Uh, it's so important that we understand that, um, as it talks about here, the 604 project really is given to us out of the scriptures. And Isaiah 61, it says, I love this, it says, the spirit of the Lord of God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that the mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil for joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, righteousness the planning of the Lord, that they may be glorified. And I love verse 4. It really speaks to what we're doing here at 604. All of it does. But verse 4 really stands out. It says, And they shall build the old wastes, they shall rise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of the many generations. 604 has sat here for a long time, built around 1907. We remodeled it. It's a historical building. It took a lot we had to strip it down to the bare essentials and rebuild it. And it is beautiful, folks. Six apartments, six units, along with an office for staffing 24-7. Six families we're going to be able to help. A new ministry here. I will share with you, I hope, real soon once we hit our goal, I'll share with you what the new 604 project will then, we have a new name for that house when it, we transfer from the 604 project to opening up those doors. We're just 200,000 short of reaching that goal. Once that goal is met, we should be able to open those doors real soon. It would be a miracle if we could open up those doors September 1st. It would be awesome if we could raise the rest of the money this next month and open up those doors September 1st, if not sooner. Hey, God bless you. Look us up, martinsburgunion.com. Uh, rescuemission.org. Click on the donate button. Hit the 604 button today. This is Pastor Tim. I'll be back with you real soon. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your financial donation. Have a blessed day.